Hi, I'm Andrew Bustamante with EverydaySpy.com, and I'm a former CIA intelligence officer that now takes my CIA skills and applies them in real life to teach everyday folks how to take back control in their business, in their relationships, in their life. I want to talk about the European Union for a moment, and very specifically, I want to talk about what, it's, what it must be like to be a European in a modern world where Brexit occurred and where Brexit is now being questioned, right? Because if you think about Europe, you think about a, a series of countries that live in close proximity to each other that for a long time were sovereign and independent from one another. And then they developed this economic union, in large part because they were threatened by the union that was the United States. And they created this economic union and they, they went through all the work of creating a shared currency and they went through all the work of finding ways to break down trade barriers to make sure that all the countries could flourish and work together. Right? European culture is one that's all about coalition. It's all about working collaboratively. It's all about finding advantage by bringing in all of the groups together. You look at the, the US political landscape and we have two parties. You look at the, any country in Europe has multiple parties. So when you think about the world through the eyes of a European, everything is about bringing groups together, bringing people together, and that's where, that's where advantage comes from. That's where influence comes from. That's where, that's where success comes from, bringing things together. And the European Union was largely built at the behest and the leadership and the, and the steady guidance of Great Britain. And, and then you see in 2017 that Great Britain challenges itself and challenges its own leadership role when, it's, when Brexit is voted in. And where does that leave the rest of the European Union? One of its founding flagship leaders in the European Union has just voted, has voted to leave. What are they going to do? What does that mean for the rest of the Union? How much must that challenge the entire purpose and meaning of the European Union? And now, while we sit in the United States and wonder what it means for our markets and we wonder what it means for our trades and we wonder how it's going to impact us, we are so far from considering it from the eyes of a European who's sitting there wondering, what does this mean for me? What does this mean for our culture? What does this mean for my family, for my for my children's children, what does it mean for the legacy that I've been working so hard for? Now, when you have to consider where Brexit is going to go in the future, and when you have to consider what the European Union is going to look like 10 years from now, 20 years from now, consider the fact that they have just, that, that, that Great Britain has violated one of the fundamental tenets of European culture, which demonstrates an evolution on the British side, but it also forces evolution in terms of what the EU values and what the EU is comprised of. Where it's going, I can't predict it. But what we, what we do know is that it will never be what it once was. It will be forced to change. It has to evolve. What it evolves into is something that we can consider either a threat because we don't know or it's something that we can consider an opportunity. When you sit there and you make your decision, I encourage you to find and learn as much as you can about Europe, about the EU, about its history, about its culture, because you will be better equipped to predict what happens next and to make your decisions, to make your trades, to, to bet your finances appropriately because you're coming from a source of knowledge and information rather than a place of fear and uncertainty. My name is Andrew Bustamante with Everyday Spy. Thank you for talking with me today.